What's up all my jeeping people? Steel doors, half doors, what do they have in common? What do they have in common that the soft doors don't have at all? Well, besides the metal of the body and stuff. How about door limiting straps? That's right. I got asked a question one time about, hey, how would you make door limiting straps for soft top doors? I said, hmm, that could be made out of paracord very easily, matter of fact. So that's what today's video is about. If you've got steel doors, half doors, or even soft, uh, full soft doors, you can make door limiting straps if your original ones are broken. Very easily, very inexpensive. Check them out. There they are. I'm taking my foot, pulling on the door, push out on it. It's no longer hitting my mirrors. It works out just fine. So y'all wanna know how to do it? Let's do it. Move on with the video. Let's go. In making our limiting straps for our doors, what I'm seeing, I've got two different choices. Now, as far as the manufacturer brand of my doors, I've got best top, super top doors. Full soft doors, you see the cloth material. Now, if you got hard top doors, you know, you got to have a different anchor point. If you got hard sided doors, you got different anchor points. If you got different manufacturer of soft doors, you could have different. But the principle is still going to be the same. What I'm looking at is possibly doing a small loop here, loosely tying the loop to where I can um, make my limiting length loop from here to here to accommodate my length so my doors only come out for a certain uh, certain distance. Other choice is I could tie them in here and do the same scenario. The only difference between the two, if I was to do it here, it's going to hold the material down like this. Not a major big issue. Look a little tacky, but eh. But if I do it up here, it's gonna, the cord should slide about right here and stop, which will work out just fine. So then I can go from here to here and create my length. So I'm going to cut me a small piece, go around this right here, and we're going to get that length started accommodating here to here. Okay, I've created my small loop here, and I will be making this tighter, but right now I just want it loose enough that I can make my length, create my length between point A to point B here. So, loosely tied, and once I tighten this up, yes, it will actually shorten this theoretically, the distance between here and there, because once I tighten this up, that's okay, because paracord has a tend to um, have a little bit of stretch to it. So if I create the length from here to here, and set my swing on my door how far I want it out, then create that length, I tighten this up, it's going to accommodate for that little bit of stretch that paracord does. So. I've got my door positioned pretty well where I want it. I mean, it comes out far enough that I don't hit my mirrors here. So, and plus it's out wide enough that I can easily get out. So I've got a position where I want it now. So I'm gonna create my length between here to here. And I'm gonna do two wraps. And you'll see what I, see, you'll see what I mean here in just a moment. Okay, what you see here is two loops. You can see end, end here, end here, loop here, loop here, should I say. Basically, I ran the cord through here, looped around once, come back in, looped in again, then come back in here again, and there's my little short tail. Now, I adjusted my length to where I can bond these two together right here, fuse them together with the lighter, melt the ends, and fuse them together. And this will give me a proper length as to how far out my door swings. And then from there, I'm going to use a cobra weave to. Uh, make it all nice and pretty and stuff you know so what i'm gonna do at this point i'm gonna go here here see where these two join up together in a nice snug i'm gonna pull it together nice and snug wherever it joins at that's where i'm gonna cut the cord then i'm gonna melt this end here to keep from refraying and i'm gonna use this length to create my second one for the passenger side okay, i measured my length of paracord after i cut and burnt my ends using that little cigarette lighter right there you know i had to go get one so i don't smoke so therefore i don't keep these things around and i don't know where the crap mother one went to that went goes with all my paracord stuff but nonetheless i cut and burned those ends so they don't fray and i measured it all out 20 inches long so i'm going to do me another length 20 inches long to go for the passenger side okay so far it's just an just to anchor to the door what we've got are our two 20 inch pieces that I showed you how to measure out a moment ago and these two pieces here are 10 inches each so you gotta have each one 
one piece for the dry, one uh, short, one long for the driver's side, one short, one long for the passenger. And now what we got to do next is take our long pieces, join them together in the loops. Then we're going to do a pretty braid over top of them, doing the uh, cobra weave over top of them. So that's our next step. Take your long piece, hold the ends together like this right here. Put the ends really hot, I mean like melting hot. You can kind of see the ends of it start to boil when you get to the right point. Stick it together. Roll it up on each other like that. Now you've fused this ends together. Good strong, then you take this like that. And that's what we're going to use to make the limiting straps with. Okay, I've kind of got this thing tied to my Jeep here. And check out, see I got it. Got it tied to the loop right there. You got a piece of steel hanging off this end to kind of keep it tight to work with it a little bit. And that's just the way I got it rigged. There's so many different ways. The thing of it is, it's just easier to work with the, doing the paracord braiding. If you've got this thing pulled tight, it's easier to work with. The general rule of thumb is for every inch of length, you need a foot of paracord to do the weave with. So we're looking at about four and a half inches. Now I'm going to call it six inches, so therefore six feet a paracord to weave with that's going to give me too much in the end but I'd rather have too much than not enough now take your long piece of paracord pull it up close to this up here not too tight up on it now leaving you a little bit of a hole to be able to slide over top of your uh, door pins down there where it holds your strap this is the middle now if I take this pull it all the way through my hand I get the ends are even, okay? So what we're going to start out now, take the right side, loop over top of these. Then we take this piece, go under that, under this, pull it through, and we want to go, when you pull it through, you want to go through this one. Get up here on it look like that and pull it down good and tight see now we're going to do the same thing except always remember you started out on the right hand side on this strand so now that piece, that strand is on the left hand side so now you want to take it around this way pull this over top of that here go under then through here. And pull that good tight. Then remember now this piece is back on the right hand side again. Make your loop. Hold it. This comes over top of this. Under this through this pull it good and tight which one do you start with now because it's on the left hand side loop over take this goes under this goes through Pull it tight. Loop over. This piece goes over. This piece goes under. And it goes through. Pull it tight. Okay, I'll show you one more time. Here, loop over. Because notice if you think, oh crap, I forgot which side I'm on. 
look at your loops right here this side right here this little loop right here will always tell you which one you need to make your loop on okay loop that over set this over top of that go under that and go through the loop pull it through pull it tight oops I forgot which side I'm on how do I tell that's right right there loop this goes over this goes under and this goes through crap did you guys catch that just notice what happened whenever you see that end come out like that grab hobie strand way down here low it pulls that jacket back up over top of that tip now what we need to do here is get my lighter and reburn that end so it doesn't pull back up the side of that sleeve so i'll be right back with you because what i did was i cut off that excess a little bit pulled the jacket like this which pulled that little white piece down inside there then uh melted that with the lighter again and, pat and squeezed it down so it sealed that end off i would showed you guys how to do it but i'm doing this outside and it's kind of windy out here right now so yeah the lighter isn't being very cooperative okay let's tighten that up oh crap i had to stop which side do i start on right there bring it over make that loop bring that over go under all of it Pull that through. Loop over. Bring it under. Bring it through. Do one more. Now I'm gonna pull that off good and tight because I don't want to. I'm not gonna take another one down here. So what we're about to do, we're gonna cut these off. Then we're gonna flatten the ends out so it don't come unweaved. Okay, I had to come into the house to finish off this step because we got to burn the ends of these right here, and I need that flame to be precision putting it where I want it to. So the wind was just too crazy out there. So, take it, pull it tight, pull your loops down, good and tight. Because what we're about to do, we're going to cut this off close, this off close. Then we'll take the flame, melt those to the point they're about boiling, then we're going to flatten them out. So what you want is when you flatten it out, this area and this area is going to hold that flat spot the burning from uh, pulling through. I'll show you what I'm saying. Take this, cut it about uh, maybe about a quarter inch. Cut that off. Don't need that. Cut this one off about a quarter inch. Don't need that. You take your flame. Get all good and hot. There we go. Take the blade of your scissors and just kind of shape it while it's still hot. See there? I just rolled that over like that and it just kind of got to get flared in, do it? So therefore it can't pull through that loop. Alright, let's knock this one off now. <clears throat> If y'all got to bear with my voice, I haven't been fighting one wicked cold for about over a week now. I feel rough. Get a good knife to the point you see it boiling. 
<laughs> bear, bear. Now roll that baby over. And there it is. Let's go put it on the Jeep now, check it out. Remember these pieces? That's a little short 10 inch piece I told you guys to cut. Second thought, don't do it. Don't need them. I'm going a little bit different route. This is a scrap piece right here left over from where I was weaving the uh, weaving this. Approximately 14, 16 inches long. Again, it's one of those cases where it's better that's too long than too short. So let's take this, make a loop. Just do a simple overhand knot, creating a loop. There's that. Stick your scissors through there. Pull the knot good and tight. Cool. There's what we got. Now, the piece that we braided. Take this end right here. Remember you got your big end and your little end. This right here is where you started at. So you pulled your paracord up tight on it to weave it. Leave this end with a little bit of a loop to go over your piece here, okay? That way you take your, it's easy to remove and to put on and remove it and such. <clears throat> I'm trying people, but my brain's foggy and my voice is shot. All right, open it up right there a little bit. Stick this through there, okay? Now, take this. Let me turn the camera around so you guys get a better shot on this. Take through there for your soft doors. Now, the, the people who have your um, half doors and your full steel doors, you got a little uh, screw in strap right there. You can build off of it. So this works for soft doors or the steel doors. You pull that in. Take this, beat it under. Pull that through, pull it through here. Uh, pull that tight. And for good measure, if you want to do another one, go for it. Now at this point, if you want to cut it off and blunt off that end, you can. Or if you just want to let it hang, you can. Told you your call. Now, let me back the door up so you show you guys to hook it. Go back to the camera up. Go close the door. Uh, let's see. I'm, I got the camera like right in front of me. I'm having a hard time reaching around the camera. Anyway. Let me hook this and I'll show you. I've got the, like the camera is right here in front of me. I can't reach over top of the camera and reach this. So I'll be right back. So there you go. I've got it hooked it right there. And the door doesn't go back so far that hits my mirror anymore. So actually, I, I, just for uh, eyeballing it, I measured it about right. Now, the, for you people with the hard doors and steel and the half doors, you know, you got that little metal band thing right there. You can either tie onto it or if you really get creative, you can actually feed this through there a couple times burn it off like I showed you guys to join it together and weave over top of it with a joint onto your doors if you want to go that route uh, for my soft doors I didn't want to go that route I just simply wanted to tie it off that way if I want to go to a different color later on only thing I got is cut this right here untie it and go off with a different color or a different pattern different weave whatever I feel like getting froggy with so there it is and I actually like that quite a bit because uh, again uh, it limits how far my door's going back. It's not smacking my mirrors anymore. So that worked out pretty well. So there you go, everyone. There's how to build your door limiting straps if yours is broken. Pick your color, pick your weave, have fun with it. But there you go. There's a very inexpensive fix to a little issue that arises with the doors occasionally. Steel doors, half doors, after a while that little strap breaks. Then your doors are slinging open, hitting the side of the tub. 
soft doors don't come with the with the option at all so therefore you got to make them on your own so spend a few bucks in paracord make you some door limiting straps and you never know what else you may come up with so if you guys got any ideas hey that would be cool on paracord or this or that hit me up see what we can do i might make them for you so give you a shout out in the process what do you think cool all right so everyone if you like that video hit me with a thumbs up subscribe if you have it if you subscribe subscribe to these videos you will get notified and hit that little bell icon that way you'll be notified whenever i release the videos cool do it all right hit me up with a comment down below tell me what you like about the video Anything that you'd like to see done in Paracord, tell me something that you've done in Paracord. So everyone, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I really appreciate all the subscribers I've got. Come on, I'm so close to 10,000 subscribers. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm so close to 10,000, it's not even funny. So come on, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, comment down below, and everyone, most of all, I want everyone out, out there to have a great day. Peace out. Later, y'all.